looking ahead to this game, obviously a big rivalry game, it comes at a time where you guys are in a bit of a rough path in terms of results. How, how big would it be to kind of get um, a result here and kind of rebound from this rough path? Yeah, this is one of these games that's bigger than three points. And when you look at the history of the two teams, oftentimes these games kind of propel, um, you know, whichever team ends up winning out. Um, the history is tight, you know, uh, and looking back on, I think it's uh, 16 games since I've been here that we played Seattle, and the record is an even 7-7-2. Seven, seven, and two. and uh, the home team has typically prevailed. We did win there in the playoffs, um, and then obviously in the Open Cup at Starfire, and then we both traded draws. Um, other than that, it's been the home home team and it's been very tight and um, we're hoping obviously to change a little bit of the, of the history um, you know and win there for the first time in the regular season um, but uh, they've been tight games and uh, they do I think set the tone for uh, the rest of the season in a lot of ways obviously it's not the only time we will play them but um, because it's bigger than three points in terms of the magnitude and you know supporters and how they feel about it, our players, how they feel about it. Um, you know, you want to you wanna get that result even more so. Um, and it's, a, it's, a, it's the best medicine when you haven't won, is to get three points. And that's the mindset. You know, that was the message today. We've got to put the last game behind us. Um, there's not a whole lot to glean from that game, being down a man for 73 minutes, other than, you know, try to avoid getting a red card. Um, but. You know, I'm not aware of many teams down a man, down a goal for 73 minutes winning, winning that game. That's that's not a good formula. Um, so it's one of those where you have to kind of uh, put it aside and, and move on quickly. And that's the message. So we're going to um, hope, hopefully be 11 v 11 for, for 90 plus minutes. And I'm confident if we are, we'll be in a position to, to win the game like we have most of the other games this year. You guys won the 2015 MLS Cup. They won the 2016 MLS Cup. Does that at all intensify the rivalry, just having the two um, a rivalry match, but also the two most recent MLS Cup winners going at each other? Yeah, I mean, I think every every season, every game intensifies it, it seems, if that's possible. Um, but, but it seems that way. You know, a lot of the same players who have been here over those seven years, uh, they have a group of guys in their team that have been here you know, for, you know, the entire, um, you know, five seasons that I've been here and, and uh, we do as well. So I think when you look back on the games and you remember those games and, um, you know, the history and, you know, what they've done and what we've done, uh, it always just adds a little bit more, you know, to the game. Um, in saying that, we have to keep our emotions in check, you know, because obviously last game, a big, big part of us not – you know, being in a great spot to win the game early was, you know, we didn't keep our composure. So that's, that's, that's very important. And it's important that we keep our calm right now as well. Um, you know, last several games, uh, we haven't been happy with the results, but ultimately we're still in a good spot. And um, we can't forget that. And you can't go back and get the last points back. But, you, uh, you know, you certainly can um, continue to be in a good spot by getting – the next result, focusing on that. So that has to be our mindset. Oftentimes, the uh, the waters get turbulent around you when you're not getting results. And we've always done a really good job of, um, you know, locking onto the process, keeping calm, and focusing on uh, you know the most important things, and that's preparation and, and playing well in this game. And that's what we'll do this week. Caleb, if you see anything in Seattle in terms of. I don't want to say MLS Cup hangover, but just the process you went through last year of resetting and maybe getting going on something different after winning, winning the championship, and maybe just talk about that process and the challenge of, of coming back off that. Yeah, it's not easy, obviously. Um, the best way I can describe it is, you know, typically your players have, you know, 10% less hunger and the opponent has 10% more hunger to beat you. So that 20% in MLS is it's a pretty big swing. And that's probably, you know, for the most part what's happened because they've played well, they've got a good team, they've, they've, most of the games dominated possession and 
Um, I think the teams that they've played have been pretty content to just sit back, not try to go toe to toe, not try to control the game against them. And um, you know, in, in some of the games, they haven't been able to break teams down and um, and find find enough goals. But um, they've shown their firepower in games in that New England. Look no further than that game, down 3-0, to come back and score three goals very late. Um, obviously, last game, they were able to find the goal, so they'll have some confidence from the last game. Three games prior to that, you know, obviously weren't, weren't good, but, um, you know, they'll have some confidence from the last game and feel good about finding that goal. And they're a good team, they have good players, and, um, you know, it's always difficult to play, uh, play the champion as well. You know, so as much as you might be more hungry to beat that team, they, they are the, the current champions and, um, you know, they have that belief and I think, you know, maybe for 90 minutes uh, in some games it hasn't been there, but when you see them turn it up and turn it on uh, when, when they want to or need to, um, they're very dangerous. They showed why they were champions last year.